Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is gonna be an updated newborn essentials video. Now that Jackson is almost seven weeks old, I thought that I would kind of like show you some of the top products that we've been using. I kind of narrowed it down to like the top 10 things that we use like on a daily basis. So I am here with my husband, Joe, and then this is Jackson. For those of you guys who are new here, this is baby Jackson. He just finished eating, so he might spit up on all of us. So like I said, Jackson is seven weeks old and we're dealing with some reflux, so he's a little bit of a cranky baby right now. But we really spend most of our time here like in the family room and we've got like baby products like all over the couch and stuff. And so if you guys watch my vlogs, you guys know that this area is always like a hot mess. So I'm gonna flip the camera, start showing you some of the products, but before I do that, I I do want to let you guys know that today's video is a collab with my friend Britt Demansky here on YouTube. I have collabed with Britt I don't know how many times now. She is one of my favorite mamas. Britt also has two kids so she has a newborn baby girl who is I think like two months older than Jackson is and then she also has a toddler Elena who's around Riley's age so if you guys are interested in what her top baby essentials are for her little one then definitely make sure to go check out her video after you guys watch this one. Go be her friend. Say hello. Talk to her in the comments. Tell her that you came from my channel. I know you are gonna love her so I'm gonna have all her information linked in the description box her Instagram and her YouTube channel so go say hi be nice to her and tell her that I say hi all right so this is definitely one of our baby essentials these burp cloths these are actually like what do you call them like the cloth diapers and we use them as burp cloths this baby boy spits up a ton after all of his feeds like I said he has reflux so anytime that we're burping him and stuff he's like kind of projectile throws up all over the place so these are super absorbent and we just find that they're like the most practical things to have because sometimes like the really pretty ones with all the decorations and stuff sometimes those don't absorb the spit up as well as these do so the next thing that is an absolute essential to me is the baby outlet this we put on his foot every single night and if you guys are not familiar with this product this is something that you put on the baby's foot and then it monitors the baby's oxygen levels and their heartbeat. So this is great just for peace of mind to know that your baby's okay whenever you put them down for a nap or in the middle of the night. And I'll try to insert some footage of me showing you like how to put this on the baby's foot. But I use this with Riley and I use this now with Jackson and I absolutely love it. He's starting to get a little bit fussy because that's usually what happens after his like meal times and he starts to get fussy and he has to go down for a nap. So I'm gonna try <laughs> to keep this video going Going, but we might have to like kind of stop and take a break if he gets cranky <laughs> look at this little guy in his shark pajamas These are some of my favorite PJs that he has But whenever it's time to get him ready for his nap We do like to swaddle him so I've got two swaddles here that I want to show you This is the first one. It's kind of a traditional like velcro swaddle So dada you can put him in that kind of trying to figure out which swaddles he likes better because there's those traditional ones And then we have these also that I've been trying these are like where his hands are up and it's just kind of like a little sack and he does tend to like these so sometimes I'll put him in these but this one for the most part helps keep his arms down better and it like prevents his startle reflex from like happening so I think he does sleep a little bit better when he uses this so it's just a little sack that you put him in and it's got velcro and these are just like really easy <laughs> but it doesn't seem like he is happy right now it's okay buddy it's okay he's just getting sleepy so this is what we do when he gets sleepy. We just swaddle him and it helps calm him down. And now we're gonna give him a passy, which is another one of our essentials. All right, so now he's like a little burrito, a very angry <laughs> burrito. So then this is the next essential, a passy. So these are the Wubbinubs, the ones that have like the little characters. Here, you can give him this, see if it calms him down. So Jackson is not a huge fan of pacifiers yet, but we're trying to figure out what passy he does like the best. So these are actually the same ones that are on that Wubbinub, but they do have them without the little animals. So if you just want to give them the passy, they do sell them like that. Then this one I think is called a ma'am. I think that's the brand. So I don't know. We've been trying to play around with him to see what he likes the best. But whenever we give him a passy, it does tend to calm him down. We just kind of have to like keep it in his mouth because he doesn't like suck on it on his own like he'll like drop it out of his mouth not all babies are gonna like a pacifier riley never took a pacifier and this guy is kind of in the same boat like again i kind of have to keep my finger in the passy like on his mouth because he doesn't just like suck and suck and suck like he'll kind of take a couple sucks and then he like throws it out of his mouth and then he gets pissed off once it's out of his mouth so we're trying to figure out again what works and that's what it's like when you have a newborn you're gonna have a bunch of products that you 
start off using and then as time goes by there's going to be new situations and new things that happen and you're going to try different products and some of the products are going to work some of them aren't so just know that ahead of time like there are going to be things that you're going to have to just kind of adapt to and you're going to have to be very flexible because babies are all very different and they like different things so just keep that in mind so the next thing that i would say is an essential are these muslin blankets these are great blankets just for using as a blanket itself or another way that we use this with Jackson, especially like the first couple weeks, is we would swaddle him in these. So these you can just make a swaddle out of and then you wrap them in this instead of the ones with the Velcro. And then I also use this as like a nursing cover when I was nursing him the first couple weeks. I would literally just take this like when I was nursing him and I would just kind of cover myself up with it and have him under here and it was just great to like not be exposed joe says that i'm lying to you guys because really i would use this like this i would cover myself like this and have him under me because whenever i was nursing i was always nursing and like my dad was here and my brother was around so i didn't want to be nursing here like with my boobs everywhere so i would kind of just hide under here and nurse my child so yeah that's another way that you can use the muslin blanket another thing that we absolutely cannot live without these days especially is a portable sound machine so we've gone through a couple portable sound machines that have not worked this by far is my favorite and i'm actually going to give it to joe now since he's trying to put the baby down by the way i don't think i mentioned it but everything that i'm showing you guys will be linked down in the description box so if there's anything that you want to try just open that little description box you can click the link and you can buy them for yourself but this one is great because first of all you can charge it so there's no actual batteries that you have to be switching out you just charge it with the micro usb i think that's what it's called you turn it on and then it has a bunch of different um like you can make it louder or quieter try not to make it so you can't hear me but there's a bunch of different modes i don't know if you can hear the difference he tends to like this one that's like i don't know it's kind of like a weird little mumble there most babies will like the white noise. It helps to calm them down. So that's one of the things that we've been using like right next to him anytime that he's going down for a nap or at nighttime. But I do like that this one has different modes, different sounds. You can alternate and see like what your baby likes the best and it does get really loud. So this is great. All right, so this is the next thing that I wanna show you guys. This is a nail buffer for the babies. You may or may not have ever seen this before, but this is one of my all time favorite things for little ones. Basically, it's just a great way to trim their nails. You just push this button and this is like a little file that rotates and then you can file their nails that way. I tend to like this 10 times better than like a regular nail clipper because I'm always super scared that I'm going to like cut him or that I'm gonna like cut the skin and like, you know, like that's not what I'm about. I do not need like a bloody mess on my hands. So I always have loved this. I use this with Riley and it's just one of those baby products that I recommend to everyone. He spit up again. <laughs> Here. Okay, these are all of my toddler's toys on the floor and I'm just gonna fall on my face one of these days. Hey, little buddy. And dad has spit up on his shirt, so that's great. On the floor? Oh, yeah, spit up on the floor. All right, so this is the next thing that is an absolute essential, some kind of portable, lightweight baby bouncer. This is the kind of thing that I can just pick up, grab. I promise you I'm a weakling, so if I can pick this up, it is really not heavy at all. And this is great because I can kind of sit him in here and I can move this around depending on where I am around the house. If I need to be in the kitchen, I just move it to the kitchen. I've personally been using this a ton in the bathroom. Straight up, like if I want to actually use the bathroom, like that's where I have to like put him. So I have to grab the portable bouncer, put it in the bathroom. He is staring at my face while I'm on the toilet and that's the only way I use the bathroom. Likewise, like if I want to shower, I've got to do the same thing because like you just got to do what you got to do. So don't let anybody tell you that you can't shower if you're a mom. Maybe you can't shower every single day, but eventually you can shower. But just have something like that that you can just grab put on the floor and then you can take a five minute shower or you can use the bathroom and i promise you that that just makes everything so much easier we're actually going to be moving into a two-story home here in a couple weeks so i actually ordered this one as the second baby bouncer that we have so we have another one that we use with riley one of them will go on the first floor
floor the other one will go on the second floor because that's how much i use those things all right then the next thing that's a baby essential for us are the baby carriers i have a couple different carriers and i've been kind of testing them out to see what i like the best but for right now this is the one that i use the most often this is the lily baby one it's just super easy to put your baby in if you guys watch any of my vlogs you guys have seen me wear this i just use it all the time and then this one over here is super cool this is not really a carrier but it's a tank top that is a carrier itself so it's a little tank top and again if you watch my vlogs i've also worn this but it's from a brand called lalaboo and it's a tank top and it has a little pouch and then you put your baby in there like a little kangaroo and then you just walk around the house with your little one in there if i want to get anything done around the house i need one of those things because there are so many times when jackson will not let me put him down anywhere he likes to be held so that's one of the things that i use the most often sometimes he takes his naps in there but there are a million different carriers that you can look into there are wrap ones there are like the more structured ones like the one that i have so just kind of figure out what you think is going to work best for you and what your baby's going to like the most and get something because otherwise you're going to go insane all right and then the last thing in like the top 10 category is going to be some kind of like either the dog tot or the boppy lounger we have both and i kind of see pros and cons to each of those so the dock is really where we're trying to get jackson to sleep and especially at nighttime we're trying to get him to sleep in it he does not love it he doesn't like to sleep anywhere except for in our bed right now so we're working on it but the dock is great because you can just put him in here and we hope that eventually we'll get to the point where he can just like be placed in here and he'll take his naps and i like that you see like he can't really like fall off the couch because he can't roll since it's got like the little bumpers on it so i like that like i can set him down here if i need to like run to the kitchen or something i feel like he's in a safe place and he looks really really cute in here <laughs> hi baby so yeah the dock tot is great this is the deluxe they have one that's even bigger for when the babies grow out of this one but a lot of kids will sleep in here and it's just like a great little lounger but it is flat and i think that's what he doesn't really love about it since he has a reflux since he has a reflux baby he does tend to like the boppy lounger a little bit better a little bit of an incline but what i don't like about it is that I feel like he can like i don't know like roll off of this better like i feel like this is a little bit less secure so if he's ever on the boppy lounger i won't like step away from him like i'll always have to be like right next to him but this is another great option like as just like a little place where you can put your baby and it's nice and comfy and it's very cushiony the one thing i'll say about this is that i did have to buy this waterproof cover so the boppy lounger itself does not come with a cover so if jackson were to like spit up on this this is the actual boppy lounger pillow itself and you can't really wash it so if you are going to get it i recommend that you get a cover like this and i will link to this one down below too so i'm gonna go ahead and put on the carrier show you guys how easy it is to get them in here so it just clips over here and then this one does tell you to take some kind of towel and roll it up sometimes i use a little pillow but when the babies are a newborn it tells you to put like a little pillow that he can like sit on so i'm just gonna roll this up and kind of like put it right here and then i'm just gonna take him put him on my chest and then i take one strap and i take the other strap and then it clips back here like this and that's it your baby's in here and then it does have like this little flap for their head so i'm just gonna clip it here and here and then i like to take the sound machine put it really loud i'll just kind of loop this through here and then we're just gonna walk around and see if he'll take a nap Okay, so a couple other things that are kind of like runners up, I guess, runner ups, I don't know, like 
things that are not the top 10, but they're still good, are these. So first of all, we have a diaper caddy that we keep here. A diaper caddy I highly recommend. Um, the diaper caddy is just something that you can put all of your essentials in and just kind of have them and take them with you wherever you're going throughout your house. So I like to have one of those. We keep things like extra clothes and more of these like diaper cloths and stuff like that in here. This is another really great product, this gray thing here. It's called the Rocker Mama. And I don't know if you can see the side. You see how like it's got this back portion. So really what it does is it acts, oh I almost fell. It acts as like a rocker where you can just like take it anywhere and just, it's like a little rocker. For example, if I need to sit here on the couch, and rock Jackson, I can do that. I can just rock here and then it's super portable. So if I need to move it to my room, I can do that too. Just grab it with one hand, move it from place to place. So that I've been using a ton. So then over here is like our little bottle station and we've been giving Jackson this formula because we're trying to figure out if he has a dairy allergy. But this is something that I highly recommend if you guys are formula feeding. This is like a little formula holder and it's super cute. It's got like a lid that screws on top so that it doesn't really come off. You can put formula in three different places and then it's got like this thing that helps like have it funnel into the bottle. But I keep this like by my bedside table at night and it's great because I don't have to like go in here and get the scoops and figure out how much to put. It's already done for me and then all I have to do is pour it into the bottles. And I think it's like a really handy thing. You can also take this in your diaper bag if you're going places and need formula. Let's say that you don't need like three portions. You can just take it apart. Let me see if I can show you guys. So if you don't need three, you can just take one of these off. And then you see like it's got a bottom piece. So then you can just kind of like take it like that. Or the same like if you only need one serving of formula. So this is something super cute that I found on Amazon. And then over here, this is my bottle sterilizer. I've talked to you guys about my sterilizer so much. I love it. And even if you're not using bottles, like we sterilize passies in here. We sterilize like some of the stuff that we use to dispense like his medicine. So it's got two different places where you can put stuff. So like if there's like nipples like from bottles, we put them up here or passies. We'll put up here and then there's like the bigger section where you can put the bottles. It is super, super easy to use. All you do is take this part off and then you pour some water in there, put your stuff in here and then press the button and in 12 minutes, everything is sterilized. So this has been something that we use with Riley and we use it almost every day. All right, you guys, so it's a lot later now. I'm sorry, I forgot to end the video. Things got a little chaotic with Jackson, but thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that this was helpful. I hope that you guys enjoyed seeing what products we use a ton of. Again, I didn't really mention things like diapers and wipes and sleepers and things like that because I'm pretty sure that we all know that your babies need those things, but these are like the other things that we use a ton. So I hope that you guys enjoyed seeing the things that we use now make sure to head over to Brittany's channel check out her video and that's really it so if you did enjoy this video if you found it helpful please make sure to give it a thumbs up it helps my channel big time and it takes two seconds and subscribe if you're new and I will see you guys in the next one bye guys <laughs>